Hi, Tyler. You know, everybody's talking, of course, about today's producer price index and all the inflation on the wholesale level. But there were some issues that the market's differentiating today. Now, as you look at an intraday of two-year note yields, realize that we shot up very close to what is the current high yield close, and that level is 472. But 467 high, and we ease back. Why? Well, the month-over-month -month numbers were definitely hot on producer prices, but the year-over-year, -year, not so much. As a matter of fact, when you look at 6%, it's almost half of the high watermark from March of last year at 117 That was headline year-over-year. -year. Core year-over-year, 5.4, almost half of 9.7. That was the high watermark. You get what I'm saying. And the market is paying attention to that. Now, as you look at a one-week of 10-year note yields, there's no doubt that the direction is higher in yields. That's almost a 45-degree line higher. It's been that way for the most part since the strong jobs report. But it seems as though inflation is becoming more important than weakness in the economy as the Fed keeps tightening. Look at twos to tens. It is now at 76 basis points. It was well over 90 intraday, of minus sign, of course, so much less inverted. Three month versus tens, much less inverted. This is something to pay close attention to. And finally, despite PPI month over month, look at Fed fund futures for August. This is the fulcrum, the pivot where prices stop going down and start going up. It is higher by about seven basis points than its CPI close at 94.71 and a half on Valentine's Day. Kelly, back to you.